And so, uh, uh, yeah, like we said, so power idle ailerons neutral, rudder opposite the spin direction, right? So when that happens, that means your foot goes to the floor, right? All the way to the floor. And I already told you we're going left spin, which means you're going to need right rudder on this one, yeah. right? So all the way to the floor. Once your foot hits the floor, then it's, it's elevated briskly forward. In this airplane, it means briskly forward to neutral. And you're going to see, it's going to come right out of the spin. In your airplane, you might have to take that yoke and throw it full forward, all the way. And the airplane might keep spinning. It might keep going two, three, four, five more turns. Who knows, right? Uh, and hopefully, you're able to break that inertial rotation and it stops. Once the rotation rate stops, then you're absolutely correct. You must, you must neutralize the pedals. Because if you get into an accelerated stall on the nose dive recovery with the rudder input still in, whack, you're going to go off the other direction into a new spin. And when that happens, there's going to be a lot more airspeed present. It's an accelerated stall spin entry, and it makes for a very aggressive spin entry. Now, as ugly as that looks, if that does happen, as ugly as that, that, that new spin looks, it's just that, a new incipient spin, which means push-roll power stabilizer would get you out of that second one yeah. if that happens. All right. uh, now, before we do the recovery, though, we're going to do some aggravating effects because I want you to see why it's so critical that we do the spin recovery in the order that it was designed. Do we have time? Yeah, sure. Sure do. Okay, you know, you <laughs> this is totally safe as far as you're concerned. Absolutely, yeah. Okay. I, I, I did this twice on Thursday. I'm doing it again after, after this flight. Completely safe. So, uh, yeah, this airplane's been shown to be uh, completely recoverable in every type of spin. So the first aggravating effect we'll do is going to be some in-spin aileron. Right, so we're going to go left aileron. Remember, you guys talked yesterday in class, if you go in-spin aileron, that means you're adding roll to the spin, which means the yaw has to decrease and the nose will fall. That one gets a little bit disorienting if we hold it for too long, so we're not going to hold it for more than a couple turns. And then after that, I'm going to tell you to neutralize the stick. I'm sorry, neutralize the ailerons. Remember, that still means full left stick, full left rudder, right? We'll just neutralize the ailerons. At that point, I'm going to tell you to go right aileron. That's going to take roll away from the spin, which means the yaw has to increase, doesn't it? That one's noticeable. I think you'll see that one happen. That's an aggravating effect. Why? Because it pulls the nose further away from the relative wind. So now it's tougher to break the stall when there's more yaw present in the spin. Okay. And also, there's more yaw present, so it's more for your rudder to fight. At that point, I'll tell you to neutralize the uh, ailerons, and then we'll start pushing the stick forward. And Osama, you're going to see, you're going to reach the point where we have been unstalled in terms of the stick position in the past, and it's still spinning, because remember, it's a developed spin now. If you break the stall, you still have auto-rotation to contend with, so it'll keep going. And uh, there we'll pull the stick back, and the last effect we'll do is we're going to start to increase the power. You'll notice that that's going to raise the nose, and that'll be another upright flat spin. Then I'll tell you recover. Now, on the recovery that we mentioned, right, power, idle, ailerons, neutral, rudder opposite the spin direction. Elevator briskly forward of neutral. Once the rotation rate stops, then it's neutralized the pedals, and then elevator to recover from the dot. Okay. All that I need you to say this whole time is just six words, right? Power, ailerons, rudder, elevator, rudder, elevator. That's all you got to say. Does that make sense? Okay. Okay. You ready? And Osama, I'm right here on the stick with you, so don't worry. Okay. okay. You have control. I have control. I got center tank selected. Airspace is clear below us. Uh, give me an easy right bank real quick. I just want to make sure that, okay. yep. Okay, excellent. That's fine. Okay, engine's happy. Here comes the power back. Now, when it buffets, let's just go full aft stick, full left rudder. This will be fun. You'll get a kick out of it. There we go. Good. Very nice. Lots of roll at first. Now nose yeah. comes up. Now nose falls. You see these oscillations? Look, they're getting smaller, aren't they? Yeah. Almost there. That's a developed spin right there. So let's go left aileron. Yeah. Watch this. It's really going to pick up on us. See the rolling picks up. Now neutralize the aileron. Good. Let it stabilize. No. Not yet. Uh, Not yet. The stick. Let's go right aileron now. Yeah, look at that. Now, yaw rate increases. Nice. Neutralize the ailerons. Now let's start to push the stick forward slowly. Nice. Notice the nose falls. Okay. The roll rate. Okay. And now power increase. Yeah, this will raise the nose. Okay. See that? Okay, now let's recover. Power. Power. Aileron neutral. Yep. Opposite threat right, right, right. Stick now, briskly yep. forward. Take the pedals out. Very nice. Yep, too much pull. Too much pull. Oh. Now make sure you bow salve your ears. And if you get into a nice climbing uh, right turn, it'll help your head stop spinning. I'll take control if you need.